Hello Taurus, welcome to the channel. I hope you're all doing well and thank you for your likes, shares and subscribes. Now please remember this is a general reading, it won't res resonate with everyone. It's also a timeless reading, so when you're drawn to it, it's when you're meant to hear it. Um, if this doesn't resonate, you can look at your moon and rising signs for greater clarity. We have chalk wood. Now this is about... It can feel as if you're a bit boring, as if it's Monday in everyday life, but it's about being in the present and focusing on the tasks you have to do. So the skills, you've got skills here. So it could be wrapping up loose ends as well. It could be boring, cleaning out cupboards from anything from that to, like I say, the, the more boring mundane tasks. Mending. Now this is a spiritual card. It's number seven. Mending. This is number six. So six is moving on to success. So there might be things you need to see to here, things you've been putting off. But mending, there's a healing time here, definitely. Impasse, reflect and redirect your energy. Now, impasse here, this is when we're going along life's journey and hiccups come along. And what Spirit's suggesting here is there's any hiccups on your road that you deal with them as they come along. That's the easiest way. So deal with your issues, redirect things, make the necessary tweaks, changes, and things will heal and you'll get back on your path again. So this can feel very boring. It can feel that you need to put work in as the issues come up. But we're definitely needing to keep on an even keel to keep us on the right path. So deal with issues, any issues that come up there and now. And that's what I'm saying. Do what needs to be done now. Don't be putting off to later because the problems or issues could grow. And things will sort themselves out and you'll start. You'll resolve things and things will start going along again, tickety-boo. So let's see what this is about. Ace of Pentacles. The Four of Wands. The Seven of Swords. The Seven of Cups. The Nine of Wands. And the Emperor. Now this could be Aries or somebody with Aries in their chart you could be dealing with. Beautiful Sun card, the Three of Swords, and the beautiful Temperance card. So we have got upsets here, and that's what we're saying. There's going to be upsets even when you're setting goals for yourself. Now, there could be somebody trying to get away with something, or this is just you learning about your upsets here. It's about dealing with them. It's about taking this information and using it to your advantage and finding solutions, resolving these solutions, dealing with things as they come up, in an everyday sense, which is your chop wood card. Um, I know it can be upsetting. It can also feel as well as if you're going through one thing after another. It's very challenging. But I'm getting the feeling here, because we've got the reflect and we're solving our issues, if we keep going, we're going to achieve our goal. Even although there's things that come up, we don't, they don't sit well with us, that are upsetting. This Three of Swords energy is a very temporary place you're in. The clouds, the clouds will clear. And things will resolve themselves. And you'll be able to have the strength to know what to do, to redirect your energies, to get back onto the path that you've chosen here. So I wouldn't doubt yourself. I know there's things that are going to come up here. It can feel very challenging, but you are at the nine. And what Spirit's saying is stay focused, deal with these issues as they come. And if you keep persevering, you'll get to the 10 and you'll achieve what it is you've set out to do. So it can feel very um, wearing. You know, it can feel very wearing. Most definitely. Um, but this is a this is a, a new opportunity here. You will, you know, this could be windfalls and inheritances coming in that could help you. This could be you trying to save to buy a new house or a new car. It could be you trying to gain promotion. It's something new that you're wanting here. But you've got to go through the challenges to get there. You will get this Ace of Pentacles. It will come to you if you keep going. You need to persevere and be a bit patient. Always remember, this is what Spirit's wanting. They're supporting you to get your ace here, your brand new beginnings for your stability, whether it be financial or job increases or job offers or wage increases, windfalls, inheritance, like I'm saying, buying houses, purchasing something, whatever it may be, you will get there. But you're going to have to be patient and you're going to have to go through all the challenges to start with. Um, you have to, you know, have a plan, if you like, and it's the plan that you're the process, there's a process to everything, and this is what you're experiencing. And please remember that everything you're going through here is karmic lessons that you can use for future your future if there's any challenges come up uh, further down your life's path. But this is about you being in control. It's about you taking control of things. 
redirecting things, reflecting things, to making your energies, making sure you stay positive and you're in high vibration. This emperor here is someone who has achieved and built things, his empire. He started off with an idea. He started off with an idea he wanted to invest in. He, wanted, he had a goal. What he did was he, he, had strategy, he had strategies, he was disciplined, he had a plan. He went through all the challenges and he persevered with it and he built his empire. So you will be able to do this. You will be able to resolve the issues that come up. There'll be problems and you'll be able to resolve them. You'll mend things, sort things out here by taking control and being in the driving seat. And what will happen is you will benefit and you'll get all the blessings and all the rewards the universe has to give you. Now, there are lots of blessings here that are waiting to come in. So don't doubt yourself here. Don't give up on what you're trying to achieve. Persevere that wee bit longer. Put the work in. Remember, you're learning all the time. You're becoming more educated on your life's path. Take control of things. Take control of things. Make good decisions here. When things come to light, they don't suit you. It could be with people, environments. Address it. Take control. Move the goalposts. Do nick things, whatever you need to do here to resolve these problems. And you'll find that although they can be upsetting, what will happen is there'll be beautiful balance will come into your life. You will achieve your goal. You're going to be happy with the outcome because you've persevered and you've resolved the issues that came along as you've gone along life's path towards your achievements. And there's going to be beautiful sunshine and the planets are going to align for you. So there's great rewards at the end of this. It's, it's not an easy path. When we're trying to achieve goals, um, even although it's what we desire, what we're, you know, what we're wanting is what we desire, there are still challenges that come along. Uh, you know, you don't just go from A to B. Uh, there's patience needed, there's, you know, reflection needed, reviewing things, tweaking things. But the main thing is, it's about perseverance and patience, most definitely. It's about staying true to yourself. If you want something badly enough and you trust and believe that you can have it, then you will overcome anything to get it. If you want it enough, you will get it. You'll do what's necessary here, most definitely. So let's see here. We have strength. Strength, definitely. You have an enormous amount of strength and courage. Remain focused, stand tall and shine. Now, we've always got more strength than we give ourselves credit for. You have survived these challenges, so you are stronger than you think. You've got what it takes here. Doris, most definitely. You've got the strength to sort this out. Family. This came out for cancer, funnily enough. Family is everything. Reconnect with them and tell them you love them. You might need to spend time with family or do something you enjoy or being around people that you enjoy. Take time out. It could be resolving family issues for some of you as well. Okay, I hope this helps. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.